This is video of intraoperative skin relaxation using the suture guard device. First, I'll use a, a zero nylon retention suture. This is our custom suture that suture guard sells with a large bite, uh, about 10 millimeters or so. I'll cut off the needle and then thread the device and the guide onto the suture. Then I will pull up on the suture and push down on the guide and get the wound as close as I think I can initially. Come back five minutes later, this is five minutes later, where I'll pull up on the wound and push down on the guide. Once I think I have adequate closure and I'm ready to close, I'll put a staple on either one side of the wound just to, just to keep it closed and retain that uh, wound closure. Then I'll remove suture guard and then I'll put in uh, my dermal sutures. And so here I'm just gonna use a, um, a 3 polyzorb, I think this is, uh, with an interrupted pattern. I could also use a barbed suture if I wanted. And um, I'll put in as many deeps as I, as I think I need for the layered closure. And so here I'll just uh, finish that deep suture. And you can see how the wound is already looking pretty good with very minimal, um, very minimal number of sutures and staples. Then I'll cut that off and um, then I'll finish off the wound closure. Here I'm just gonna use some staples on it and I'll usually leave these staples in for two to three weeks, depending on how I think the person's gonna, gonna heal up and then we're done.